good morning guys welcome back to my channel prod bug so uh, we are continuing with the kotlin series and uh, let me show you okay so to, uh, in this chapter we'll go through the constructor how the constructor works in kotlin okay uh, so constructor uh, basic uh, functionality is to uh, initialize your member variables right so this is what constructor is all about so uh, in kotlin uh, it has been uh, modified a bit so basically uh, let's take this example this is a class uh, constructor example and here uh, we have used the constructor keyword and uh, here we have passed one variable which is a string okay so whenever you are creating any uh, object of the class so variable object is equal to new constructor we are not using any new keyword here so constructor example and bracket uh, then lotus okay so this lotus will be come here and uh, the uh, this class will get initialized this n variable will get initialized and this name will be uh, initialized with lotus in this example okay and now we are uh, after that we are calling the method and here we can get the kotlin constant example and here the lotus can be printed uh, let me run this code and see that this is a class uh, class starting from here and finished here and outside the class we have a main function okay so uh, main should not be inside the class uh, we can write outside uh, the class okay and we are running this main uh, function okay you can see lotus has been initialized and we call the print method print me method and this has been printed okay so this is one way uh, how you can create the constructor okay another way is let me comment and uh, uncomment this so here what kotlin is saying okay we know that you are initializing uh, via constructor so why to write a constructor keyword here so you can remove the constructor keyword and no need to write okay so simply you can write like this class construct uh, class and class name and directly pass the parameter to the class okay so it will be treated as a constructor only okay so whatever string you are passing it will be saved here and we are simply calling this method so let me run the output will remain same exactly same kotlin constant example and lotus say yeah, output will remain same so you can use this style or this style both are exactly same moreover there is one more type uh, let's say so here we have given some default value to this uh, string okay let's say if we are not passing lotus so this default value will be saved in this name and uh, then this can be printed let me run with default uh, okay right now we are passing the lotus so this default value should not come and uh, okay, let me rerun yes so lotus is coming here right because because uh, even even though we have the default value but we are passing some values from the uh, we are passing uh, our own values so that's why lotus will take uh, priority over uh, default value but if uh, if we want to see the uh, usage of default so let me comment this and let's try this so here we are creating the object of this class but we are not passing any value so if we are not passing any value so in that case default value will come into the picture and this will get saved in the name and here then after that if we call the print so uh, rather than the lotus you can see default values is coming so see a default value is coming here okay so this is uh, the primary constructor with default value and this is the primary constructor so, so th in the uh, in the kotlin there are two types of constructor one is a primary which we have seen in this session and in the next session we will see how the secondary constructor works in kotlin till then see you in next chapter have a good day and keep learning bye bye